Yeah, the, and again, I'm sorry to break you off, but I was just thinking about that case we talked about earlier in the week mm -hmm. where the, um, the lender told you, well, this has to be this way because of X, Y, and Z. And you're like, well, where does it say that? Okay. And it, 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 let's break away and just give one, th one example okay. real quick of what you deal with on a, on a normal basis. On a daily basis. On a no, daily you basis. can say daily basis. <laughs> um, we have a situation, and I don't want to get too technical, but there is an exception in a provision that is afforded to sellers. And the exception says that you should be eligible for X, Y, Z. In the event you have to relocate to an area greater than 100 miles from your primary residence. So we submitted for the short sale under that exception. And they came, they, the lender came back and the department that makes this decision came back and said, no, your client is ineligible. And I said, okay, you tell me why. First, they tried to tell me that they were ineligible because they were not greater than 90 days behind in their payments. As a matter of fact, my clients are current. Okay. okay. Then they said, oh, no, wait, we're, we're sorry, we're wrong. We're we wrong told you wrong. Okay. Because when I said, you show me in writing where it says they have to be 90 days, mm -hmm. they couldn't. Then they called back, and now we're at the management and senior management level. They called back and they said, oh, relocation means within the same company. And I said, okay, fine, you show me where it says that. We are five days since my request, and I have no answer. And I can assure you, the next show that we end up doing, we should have an answer, or we are still fighting to get that answer, or we're going to get our way, and we're going to say, yes, they are now eligible for this program. So th that's a great example of why we don't take no for an answer. Beautiful. And then we'll write a blog on that so that it gets out there to everybody else doing right. these things so they don't give the same garbage to somebody else. Correct. I mean, like Annette said, there are certain things that are in writing. And then you get people making up stuff on the way. Interpreting. Oh, and say, oh, your, your client's not eligible for that. Well, show me that in writing. Right. There's nothing out there. Show me why you're going to deprive my client of their rights to take advantage of this, this exception program. that has been written, written down and why you feel that you don't have to follow it. Good. Um, I can tell you that I sent an email to everybody and their brother and, and haven't stopped. And the um, reference line in the email is unacceptable with five, five exclamation marks. And it's, it, <laughs> they, they just probably don't know what to do with that right now. I bet you they don't. 